Oasis, a video model that is a game engine trained by millions of hours of gameplay footage. Yeah, right, everyone, this is Mopbot, and today we are diving in to this new entity, Oasis. Let's check out what this is all about. So it says, you are about to enter a first-of-its-kind video model, a game engine trained by millions of gameplay hours. Every step you take will shape the environment around you in real time. So first off, we get to choose from a map here. There's a ton of options. We have mountain meadow, desert expanse, rugged coastline, dense forest, and village outpost. So a bunch of pretty cool options here. Let's go ahead and select mountain meadow. This should be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and check this one out. So on my first opinion here, this is actually really technically impressive. Now it's obviously, it's pretty blurry, right? It's not super clear what's always going on here. Kind of looks like you're in almost like a bad music video or a trippy sort of dream, but oh wow, okay, I turn around and there's just some wood that has appeared, interesting. Um, <laughs> that, that, that popped up out of nowhere. So obviously there's no sort of context of like what's happened before, catering to what's happening in the future. Let's see if I can even pick this block up Nope, okay, other blocks are disappearing, and now there's a big green blob that is an expanse. Not quite sure what that's meant to be, um, but yeah, like technically, actually really impressive. Now, I work with a lot of AI tools. I am a senior software engineer, and I work with AI, an AI-powered IDE, as well as uh, some AI summarization tools in a couple of the apps that I work on. So. AI is definitely not anything that is new to me, but this is interesting. The mouse speed is so slow. Let's see, does crafting like work? Like I can like kind of place stuff. It doesn't look like I can, I can take anything out of the crafting bench though. So that's interesting. I wonder if I can actually get anything into my hotbar here. Let's see, click. Okay, it's like there. So it's there on this screen, but if you look at the hotbar down below, it's definitely not there. Oh, now the crafting inventory is all messed up. It looks like that's probably supposed to be like a yellow dye that's kind of turning a little bit orange. So there's definitely some kind of inconsistency where uh, if you have one thing on the screen, it... Dip oh, this is new. <laughs> if you have one thing on the screen, it just kind of like morphs into something else. So it's like the, the context is like continuously forward propagating. And it's just taking every instance and trying to determine what should be around you rather than sort of accruing everything that has already happened into trying to build like a frame for like what's actually going on. And that is like really, really resource intensive to do. And oh, now, yeah, so that did work. Okay, so I figured if we, yeah, if we look down and then look straight up, it would just know that that was sand and then it would form a, a desert around me. So that looks like we had a rabbit for a moment there. Like this like input lag is actually like pretty insane. So it is a little bit tough. And the crafting inventory, can I actually close that? Oh, it doesn't look like I can actually click there. That would have been cool. Um, so it knows that the crafting inventory should be open like that, but yeah, there's no way to close it. And now we get all of this white around us. Get that off the screen. <laughs> try to turn back and sort of try to keep this desert going on. We got like, almost looks like spiders running across the back there. Um, but yeah, basically what I was getting at is it's very resource intensive to uh, maintain that context the entire time and to continually forward propagate off of what is happening. So uh, like for this, where you're just like playing through a web browser and like there's probably a lot of people doing this at one time, um, the amount of resources that would actually be required to do this in real time and to generate uh, constant images like this is just it's it's mind-boggling so like like for this early early stage um uh, it's not really surprising that that doesn't exist so just being able to look at uh, the frame and sort of just kind of generate something off of that uh is already impressive in and of itself but if i fall off the cliff here it looks like we're just kind of infinitely falling and it looks like probably now we're going to end up back in looks like we're in the sky oh now i look down and we're on top of a mountain okay so that that that's fun um so the spatial awareness doesn't really uh, appear to be there quite so much. I mean, I kind of sensed what was going on. What's going to happen now? Okay, we're back in a desert with snow on it. That was a, a big throwback to the old days where that used to be uh, possible. And oh, I could have sworn I just saw like a glimpse of a donkey on the left there. Looks like some sandstone now. Clearly a dead bush. Uh, maybe this is also partially just my mind like trying to recognize things that, that I know like are in the game. Um, Oh, is that a Mesa? Oh, let's try to get to that. That's fun. So I've watched a couple of these AI videos so far and have not yet seen a Mesa. That definitely looks like some red sand and looks like some granite on the right. Is 
that red sand turning into lava? Oh no. <laughs> oh, so we couldn't get to the mesa. Let's go ahead and jump in this and let's see what happens. Oh, fall damage applied. Way more than it should have, but that's interesting. So it actually recognized that fall damage causes hearts to go down. Now we're just kind of fluttering, but it doesn't recognize that walking around in lava should cause any damage. Uh, interesting. It did recognize that stone should be next to lava, so that's pretty cool. And then it looks like we're now in probably like a savanna plains biome. Okay, we can just kind of jump right out of there. And it looks like we're about to run out of time here. Can we kill these crops if I bounce on it? That's very obviously wheat. Oh, it doesn't look like it. And that is that. Overall, I'm very impressed with this. I think this is a really cool project. Let me know what you guys think down below. Anyway, hopefully you all have enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time.